Hey y'all, I am back with my last layout that I'm making using the Discover and Create Vicki Booten class using this collection. There were uh, two or three more layouts, but I wasn't um, interested in them that were, you know, bonus. But I was in this one and I was going to make it and show it in the previous bonus video, but I had misplaced um, some fussy cutting that I had done and I needed these three feathers. So I found them and I made the layout. Now this layout is um, pretty much the design that uh, Vicki did. I just added a couple little extra things to personalize it because this is my grandson's third birthday party and um, what I journaled about, I really didn't get a lot of good photos because uh, if you've been around a toddler boy, they are not still. <laughs> they do not listen. <laughs> and it was his birthday party. So I only got a few good photos. So I just used what I had to capture the moment and... Um, it didn't have to be a birthday theme layout, but I thought these colors went really well together. So I just used this to capture his party because I didn't have a, um, a lot of photos. I didn't have, uh, you know, I got this photo of him and some photos of him opening gifts and most of them. Another child has stepped in front or it was blurry. So uh, I just worked with what I had. We used this uh, grid layout background and just took a strip of paper, put it here, and we used a piece of pattern paper here. I matted. We had this mat here, so I cut these, uh, did these as three by fours and cut out the little extra on the side to make them smaller to fit on this photo mat. I have a little banner here. This is, um, these two pieces are from the papery. A uh, piece of vellum here, and I used the found number threes. So I have today we party from the um, letter stickers that we got, and then added a three, added a three here, and a three there. And then we have some uh, foam stickers here, and a little tag cut I mean, a little banner cut out of. Um, a piece of pattern paper and that's pretty much the layout um, the other thing on the other Vicki Booten video I showed you my leftovers and I forgot a couple things so I wanted to show you those I have all my papery now these are very thin so I'm planning on keeping them separate and I have another papery collection of Vicki Booten so when I'm done with doing whatever needs to be done with that it's going to go in here with this and then we have also in the papery collection all of these uh, vellum stickers and I love these love 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 these there's a ton of them um so I will put these in with my loose Vicky Booten stuff. So I have this labeled Vicky Booten. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to tilt it all the way. So whenever I'm working on Vicky Booten, I can pull um, that for some extra goodies. And another thing I want to advise you against doing is the American Craft Stickers. This was a 6x12 sticker sheet. And I had a little bit on two sheets. So I thought, you know what? Let me just put it all on one sheet. Don't do that. They're all... They will not stick. They still work. I mean... Because they don't stick, I mean, they stick a little bit, 
But see, I can put this on here and it's going to come off. This is going to come back off. So just leave them on their original um, sticky. These are not messed up because they are, because of the stickiness on them, I can still pull them apart and use them. But I just advise pulling them off of the original backing. So that is it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.